Good morning. I am currently in my kitchen about to spruce up a smoothie with acai, some berries, some plant protein. It's gonna be really good. This video is sponsored by Care Of, which I'm sure you guys are already familiar with because I talk about them so much. But they just came out with brand new plant protein powders, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so first things first, I like to take some strawberries. I'm gonna take some frozen blueberries. Then I'm gonna take a pack of acai, squeeze that out. So this is my plant protein from Care Of that was customized just for me. You'll see there for Sophia. <laughs> if you see the ingredients, it is all very clean, a lot of organic ingredients, which I really love about this brand. Some ingredients include pea protein, pumpkin seed protein, hemp protein, uh, organic coconut water powder. So when I normally do my smoothie, I would add a lot of different superfoods, but when I use this, I don't feel the need to do that. So I'm just gonna do two scoops of this into my Vitamix and it comes with a scooper, which is great. So here's one scoop, and then one more scoop. Oh, and the flavor that I got is unflavored. I think that when I make smoothies, I don't want any kind of added flavor, so I just like to get the unflavored. But if you're working out and you just wanna take some protein to the gym or something, I would try the other flavors. They have like vanilla and chocolate. Here I have some goji berries. I'm just gonna add a few of those, a scoop of coconut oil, of course, some peanut butter. This is a must have in every smoothie of mine. Mm, about that much. And then I'll take some raw honey just to sweeten it a little bit. I just use my little honey stick and I'll do a nice drizzle. And lastly, a milk of your choice. I'm using oat milk today. I kind of eyeball everything, you guys. I just have the milk like come up to here. And now it's time to blend. I totally forgot to add banana, so I'm just gonna add a whole banana. Now for the best part. Mm. This smoothie will change your life. <laughs> it's so good, oh my goodness. The plant protein tastes so good in this smoothie. I've only had it with the smoothie because I just love making smoothies at home. If you guys are unsure which protein powders to take, then Care Of is amazing because they pretty much customize your protein powder for you, just like they do with the vitamins. It's all about personalization, okay? That's what we're doing in 2019. So pretty much when you go on their site, you have to take a in-depth quiz. They ask you about your diet, your lifestyle, and your health goals and its needs. Once you are done with your quiz, Care Of will personalize a protein powder for you, especially with your name on it. Um, they have a wide range of proteins. They have plant-based proteins. They have dairy protein. If you guys are interested in Care Of, they are offering 50% off on your first order of the protein powders and vitamins you can use my code Sophia 50 I will leave the link in the description box so check them out hello everyone it's been a while since I felt like I've just sat here and talked to you guys oh my voice Do you guys hear that uh, today is April 16th it is Tuesday which means I have just one more full day tomorrow and then I'm back off to the desert for Coachella weekend two. But anyways, um, I just have a lot to do before I head back out. Um, and I've been kind of feeling this sort of guilt because I've been posting a lot of vlogs, but I just haven't had time to film other ideas that I have, but I do have some really cool ideas that are brewing up in my head. And I just can't wait to like, make it into real life but um you know i think my vlogs are a great way for you guys to stay updated with me and i love vlogging so much 
and sometimes I just think about the times that I didn't even vlog and I think that there was this sort of disconnection with um, you guys and I feel like you guys could agree as well but um, you guys get to really see <laughs> the nitty gritty of my life in my vlogs and I really enjoy that so I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs as well but you know just like any other person I go through really dark lows and really high highs and I think that this year I was able to really portray that in a very authentic way um, and it was hard especially when I was at my lows um, which I'm still dealing with and coping with but I feel like right now I'm starting to see the light a little bit more and things are looking a bit more up for me and that's something I'm really I'm grateful about and looking forward to because it's been a rough year so anyways I don't want to make this a whole thing also I just want to talk about this new necklace that was sent to me. I actually designed this myself. Um, it was inspired by another piece from one of my favorite designers. So my friends made this for me. They own a brand called the Diamond Daughters and they actually make this coin necklace as well. You guys have seen me wear this a million times. It's like my everyday necklace. Um, but this is real 14 karat gold the chain and the pendant as well. And they designed this for me. This is made with actual jade stone, but it's the perfect length so that I can layer it with my coin necklace. Um, this wasn't a piece that they sold, but they custom made it for me. And now they put it up on their site and I guess they are gonna be uh, selling it for anyone who's interested. It is quite expensive because it is all handmade. I'm super happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested, no pressure at all, but if you guys are interested in checking out their site, I'll leave it down below. Pretty tough call, a few tough calls today. I feel like my my days are so up and down by the hour. It's a lot to wrap my head around, but I'm just, I go through so many emotions in one day. It's like physically and mentally draining. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna have a snack. I have some vegetables, pea snaps, some sweet peppers, and Robin and I made this sour cream dip. It's like a light sour cream with lemon and dill. And then I have a boiled egg. I haven't had a proper lunch, so and it's seven o'clock in the evening, so I'm just gonna snack for now. I just have a lot to do today. So I haven't really had a time to eat. So bad, I tend to do that a lot. Today has been a productive day. I finished editing and I uploaded my vlog from the desert to the snow. And I actually took a nap today, which <coughs> which is pretty rare of me. I never take naps. Um, they always make me feel groggy. And this nap made me feel groggy as well, but I, I just fell asleep. I don't know how it happened, but I was out for like an hour on the couch. But other than that, I am heading out to the desert tomorrow. We are going to Coachella weekend too with the crew. Oh, I kind of fooled around this morning. It was so funny. I just had this thought about all of these dances that we did in high school, because I used to listen to a lot of hip hop back then. And just like the trendy hip hop dances that were popping, 
like Soldier Boy um, and all of that. So <laughs> it started off with me sending the these videos to my friend Emily. I was sending them to Whaley as well. Um, and then it just became this, I just kept going and going and finding all of these old songs and doing the dance to them. And I was dying laughing. Like I could not breathe at myself. It was so funny. And then I put it on my Instagram stories, but I just had it for my close friends to see. <laughs> Cause you know, Instagram has a close friends option. But then I thought about it. Then it's like, this is actually really funny. I feel like a lot of you could relate because we all did these same dances in high school or when we would go out. So I'm gonna insert those clips so you guys know what I'm talking about. Today has been a productive day. I finished editing and I uploaded my vlog from the desert to the snow. And I actually took a nap today, which, <coughs> which is pretty rare of me. I never take naps. Um, they always make me feel groggy, and this nap made me feel groggy as well, but I, w I just fell asleep. I don't know how it happened, but I was out for like an hour on the couch. But other than that, I am heading out to the desert tomorrow. We are going to Coachella weekend too with the crew. Oh, I kind of fooled around this morning. It was so funny. I just had this thought about all of these dances that we did in high school because I used to listen to a lot of hip-hop back then and just like the trendy hip-hop dances that were popping like Soldier Boy um, and all of that so <laughs> it started off with me sending the these videos to my friend Emily I was sending them to Whaley as well um, and then it just became this I just kept going and going and finding all of these old songs and doing the dance to them and I was dying laughing like I could not breathe at myself it was so funny and then I put it on my Instagram stories but I just had it for my close friends to see because <laughs> you know Instagram has a close friends option but then I thought about it then it's like this is actually really funny I feel like a lot of you could relate because we all did these same dances in high school or when we would go out so I'm gonna insert those clips so you guys know what I'm talking about Comment down below if you guys were guilty of doing those dances too. I know y'all did. I know it just wasn't me, but I thought it was so funny. Let me know which dance you did the most. <laughs> this on photoshop we got this as a group gift for ernie because he's been gone to japan and this is like a little welcome back gift and whenever we're in big groups we always get lost so this is a great tool to have a totem pole yeah ernie's a leader he's always holding the water bottle with the flashlight underneath so now he can upgrade his life Yeah. 
Let me see your ass pull. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, for seven ninety nine, you can't complain. So true. So we just got to the room. I mean, the house in Palm Springs. It is huge. Some people just left to the grocery store, but wow, it's a lot of space. There's a pool in the back. Me, Wavy, and Wall have the masters. I'll be sleeping with them. And then our closet. I know. This is Helen's room. The closet is so big, it fits an air mattress. Like, it's huge. <laughs> okay, ready, go. Some jewels. These two guys. And some glitter. This body glitter is really great. The lunar glitter. Emily put me on this. It's amazing. It just like stays put. Jen has the tiniest head. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even oh. fit this around my big old head. I'm putting jewels on Kevin. Hello. I think I want some stars. I can feel it. Wow, got this sun. Beautiful. <laughs> what do you call your look? Mad Max fashion. Oh, yes. I call this Princess of Egypt. Ooh, Arabian. Goddess. Arabian night. So beat. Oh my gosh. But I had an amazing time yesterday. It was so much fun. I woke up pretty early. I woke up at 8. I mean, that's early for festival time. Wa made some breakfast for us. So sweet. He made us some bomb soup. And I'm about to eat breakfast now. Oh my god. Look how cute. Wow. Look at this family dinner. Wall well, started this meal at 8 o'clock. Everybody better appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you,
I don't even know what day it is today. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I've been <laughs> being a little hermit these past few days. I am officially festivaled out, if that even makes sense. Two weekends of Coachella is a lot, and I don't know if I can do it again next year but it was a really cool experience to go both weekends i'm just like so exhausted now yesterday i was completely done i had to just rest all day and i'm not the type of person to rest during the weekdays i mean like i like to get my week started just like everyone else who has like a corporate job so some guilt kicked in because i was just i literally could not do anything i just laid on the couch and watched Game of Thrones, watched World of Dance, <laughs> and I'm feeling a lot better today. So today is going to be productive. I have a lot of things to do. I'm currently trying to get my life together, you know, but it's okay, it's okay. Mm. Right now, I just baked a sweet potato with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and then I put the Trader Joe's everything seasoning on top. And this is like my breakfast lunch right now. I don't really have an appetite, so when I don't, I just like to make this. 
It's easy. I just chop the potato in half, pop it in the oven at like 360 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And it's easy to eat and gives me the protein that I need. Anyways, I'm gonna finish eating. Luna's walker should be here any minute now. So that gives me a little bit of free time. And then I need to like organize, get my life together and I need to edit. So that's the kind of day I'm having. Not that exciting, but it's life. Hello everyone, <sighs> Robin and I went from the Palisades to downtown LA today. Andy is having a little housewarming at his new place and we are going to go out to the outdoor area where there's like volleyball, there's a pool and we're going to do a little barbecue. You may have my body, but you'll never have my soul. Do it! You'll never have my soul. Like everyone do it. Come back with a full time job. I have one of those too. Where's the rice? Ew, I'm going oh, up right now. <laughs> I would like to give a toast to my good people. 
on this beautiful Sunday evening, celebrating life, friends, cheers to success, and Game of Thrones, bitches!